Hello everyone, it's Flash and I'm bringing you day 12. Oh, we're finally here. Yeah, next time I'll do these a little earlier, so I don't have to do it all in one video. But, yeah. Uh, coming off with the best series. You know, this show that stood out to me that when I look back, I'll say, oh, 2004 was that. You know, the day of the year of that series. And for me, starting out of the world, Conquest of Vesda. Again, a lot of fun. Goofy characters, goofy story. A lot of, you know, interesting artwork and you know, art style is very out there. Uh, next would be Haikyuu, which is sports. I usually don't do sports, as most people know they've ever talked to me about it. Sports just seem like they'd be, you know, kind of corny, generic shows, but, you know, that kind of changed my mind since I've been watching, you know, a bunch of different sports shows lately. And Haikyuu is definitely very interesting. Next would be Hitsuga no Chaika, which, Bones, you know, I had to watch Bones series. I always watch them because they're unique sometimes, but Chika was interesting again because I think Chika made the series enjoyable to watch. Even though at the beginning I kind of hated on her for the way she spoke and the way she talked, but it all makes sense now if you watch the whole series, why she acts that way. So yeah. Next to be No Game No Life. Goofy, silly, out there. Really random and fast paced sometimes, but I think it was just overall goofy and, you know, yeah, it has edgy moments, which is fine. I don't mind that. Next, Our Horror Ride, which is a shoujo, which I usually don't watch these type of shows, because they're kind of boring, usually, but Our Horror was very interesting. I believe the couple, you know, in the beginning, in the main, is, you know, leave believable and it's realistic enough to, you know, make me keep watching, so maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. Uh, Hani Aramata for the next one, which is kind of, when I first jumped into it, I thought it was going to be a, like a Kayan show. Which is, you know, cute girls doing cute things. This one turned out to be something completely different. Had a lot of emotion in it, to my surprise. And I like watching, uh, you know, the girls, I guess, come out of their shells and become something different instead of just, you know, like with the main girl who was scared to try anything new. That it was kind of inspiring just to see her do her best. It's like, yeah, you know, you can do something besides nothing. Uh, next would be Get Kind of Shoujo, which, much like, um, uh, you know, some of the other shows on this list, it was just fun. Every week it was just something, something that would make me laugh. The hilarious, just hilarious show. Like again, Sakura talking to the main guy and him just misunderstanding everything she says. It was, was funny to me. I don't know why. I just, even though I felt kind of bad for her, but I know something would happen eventually. But yeah, that's, that's non-stop comedy. Sabigabu again, just like, just like Gekon, just non-stop comedy. Girls going through these different silly events and just, Showing everyone that they can do, you know, this gun stuff, whatever. But even though this one was more comical than trying to be something else. And it stuck to that, and I really you know, applaud them for staying to that and not being overly dramatic about anything. Which, another gun series did the same thing, which kind of meh. Uh, Nelson no Taizai, which, is, again, still airing, but very fun. I usually don't do fantasy anime because once I've seen one, I've seen them all. <laughs> kind of, but every fantasy series is something different, and Natsu no Taizai just has a, a fun cast of characters, and that's what's keeping me interested in watching. Then, you know, Elizabeth's cute, and it's nice watching her go through what she goes through, and Hawk makes it fun, little talking pig. I enjoy watching him. And characters like Ban, and you know, Meldus, and King, and Diana. This, the complete cast of main characters just keeps me watching every week. And Shigeki no Bahamut, which is not over yet, but I really enjoy that series because it's a mix of like Space Dandy meets uh, Nanas with Taizai meets something else. It's, you know, it can be funny at times, it can be serious at times, it can be badass at times, it can be, you know, cool, and the art style is really, you know, really interesting, uh, even though it's more realistic looking, but I still like it. It's a very fun series. We crossed with, a, with a, which I just ended. I put it on the list because it was a show that kept you hanging every week, every cliffhanger, every episode end was like, what? What's going to happen next week? And it, it did a good job of doing that every week, even though some episodes kind of dragged on a little too far in certain spots here and there. Uh, next be Yao uh, Misha Petal. Season 2 is just halfway through, and that show is just like, uh, I guess, Wood Cross. It ends and every episode ending is a cliffhanger. You're like, oh my god, are they going to do this, that, and what's going to happen? So that keeps you watching more than that, and I like that. Next is Parasite Maximum, which is the slice of life slash monster slash 
you know, I guess suspense thriller, I guess you could say on that. And that one's kind of interesting because it's just, yeah, I wasn't expecting much when I first started it, and now I'm this far, and I really like what they're doing with the series. Especially with the main kid, how he's, we see him grow from this, like, kind of wimpy character to this all-around badass who's learning to use his powers, but still wants to be human, not full alien, but, yeah. And he's, you know, kind of sort of got a girlfriend, I guess. They didn't really explain much on that, but, yeah, I like that so far. In the winter of this, is kind of hard because it's a lot of great shows in this list. Ugh. But I had to go with No Game, No Life because... Yeah, it's a series that every episode was entertaining. Every episode had something that I took away from it and just said, wow, that was great. Especially like during the uh, the matches they had to do. Even though one was like chess, was kind of boring. But the way they make it not boring is by, you know, throwing in, you know, full-size armor suits and they're fighting each other and really interesting ways of uh, playing games. Even the FPS stuff at the end they showed with uh, the Fox people. That was kind of interesting to see in that. They throw something random like that in there. And the, I think the first game we played with the Angel, uh, I forgot her name. People probably get killed for that, but they played that game where you get to say a word and someone else to pick up the next word, starting with the last letter of the word they used. So they went back and forth, and it was just visually amazing to see how they would take, like, you know, him saying hydrogen bomb, and they actually showed a hydrogen bomb blow up and everything. It was just. Yeah, very, very cool. Very, and very funny at times. I think Shiro and Sora were like the best comedic duo of that of that season when it aired. And maybe even now, just, they have this back and forth between them that just keeps you watching. And you're just like, what are they going to do next? And I think people would probably hate on it because of the uh, every episode end, you know, when they end the arc, they do a bath scene, which it was not very long, but still, it's, I can see people being annoyed about that, but. I found those to be even those moments to be hilarious, even though they're there for Blu-ray sales and you know sexualized stuff, but still funny. I like that. So yeah, that's my favorite series of 2014. No game, no life. Um, fingers crossed for a season two or something, but I don't know what they're gonna do with that. We'll see. You still have to fight the main god for, in a game of chess. So yeah, I hope you look more adventures of Sora and Shiro in the future. But it's been my 12 days. Thanks for watching the videos, and hope everyone has a great holiday and Merry Christmas to you and all that. And yeah, see you guys next year for 12 days. And I guess maybe I'll just do one video at a time. But yep, that's my video. So see you guys next. I guess see you guys next year. Yeah. <laughs>